Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Diablo Immortal working on the Steam Deck. So if you try to do the standard method where you use Proton and try to add Battle.net and then Diablo Immortal, this is not going to work. This is not going to launch correctly. Therefore, we're going to use a different method to get Battle.net installed using Lutra. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Steam Deck tutorials. So first thing is that we're going to go to Steam menu here. We're going to go to Power and we're going to switch to Desktop mode. So what we're going to do is to open up the Firefox web browser and I'm going to type in the word Lutris. Then we're going to go to the Lutris website. Then we'll click on the download tab here. I'm going to scroll down and find the instructions for SteamOS. So these two orange lines, we're going to go ahead and select them. I'll we'll right click and then copy them. And this is going to add the repository for the Flatpak version of Lutris. So to get this to work, we're going to go to the start menu here, type in the word KON to open up the console, click on here. And now we have the console opened up. And I'm going to right click and then paste that orange command that we had earlier and then press return. So here we basically want to select the latest version. So it's always going to be the highest number. So I'm going to press six and press return. Here again, I'm going to install the latest version. I'm going to press three and then three again. This will go through a download process. I've already downloaded this. Now we're going to close this window and then we're going to go to the Discover Software Center. And now in the search bar, I'm going to type in the word Lutris. And now we have this new Lutris entry, which wasn't there before. So if you haven't installed it already, then press the install button on the top right hand side, or you can press launch here. So Lutris is basically an overall launcher launcher, and it launches multiple types of games. What we can do is click on the plus icon here. We're going to click on search the Lutris website for installers, and we're going to add a new installer for Battle.net. So I'm going to type in the word battle.net, and then we're going to install this launcher. So here we're going to select this and press install. And what we're also going to do is to create a desktop shortcut, and I'm also going to create a Steam shortcut here. So this is going to add it to our Steam library as a non-Steam game. So these are the dependencies that it's located. What I'm going to do is to press continue, let it download everything. Here I'm going to press install. Now it's installing some fonts and some other dependencies. So now this is starting up Battle.net. So now this is the Windows version of Battle.net being installed via Lutris, via Wine. Here I'm going to install it in its default location, press continue. So now Battle.net has loaded up. I'm going to type in my username and password. So now Battle.net has opened. I'm going to close this. So we're now logged into our Battle.net account. So now within Battle.net, we're free to now go ahead and install and download any game. So I've installed and downloaded Diablo Immortal, and now I'm gonna be able to press the play button. So now the game has loaded up, I'm just gonna select my server, and I'm gonna enter my game in my character. So no, this game is now playable. I can play using the trackpads at the moment. We can do a little bit of key binding to fix some of these issues. So I've tried to add Diablo Immortal EXE to Steam, and I'm not able to launch it. So if you try to open it from here, then it's going to crash. However, if I use the Lutris Battle.net launcher, then this is going to work much more reliably. So because we're in the desktop mode and we don't have proper key binding or control support at the time of recording, you might want to be able to do things like bind the WSD keys to your left analog stick. So that's going to show you how to do that. We're going to Alt tab into Steam, go to Steam, Settings, and then we want to change the controller settings here, get a desktop configuration. And then what we're going to do is just modify this. So for example, here I've got the directional pad and I basically bound each key to a particular direction on the left analog stick. With the left bumper, you probably want to change this to one trigger button here. We want to change this to two. Here we want to change this to three. Here it changes to four. So this is going to be very similar to the key bindings for the PC mode. So now when I'm pressing L1 here, it's now bound to the one key. Here I've got R2 and then the R1. So my skills are bound there. I'm also going to change these keys as well. I can change this to left mouse. I could do something fancy. I could toggle multi button on and then click on shift and left mouse and back press done. That means that if I press the B button, then it's going to do an attack in that direction. So it really depends how you want to play. This B key will basically fire at anywhere where my mouse cursor is pointed, and you can kind of use this to point your directional attacks. Until the Steam controller support is added in or patched in or someone figures out a fix, then this is probably the best way to do it at the moment. All my skill keys are working. This one's working, the triggers are working, the R1, L1 keys are all working. You can also use some of the touchscreen as well. Until this gets a proper community fix or gets patched by the developers, then this is probably going to be the best way to play it, or you can use your keyboard and mouse to play too. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. This is probably going to be the best way of playing this game for the time being. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.